The Galaxy S4 teases a new Super AMOLED display technology. HTC One shortages are predicted on launch day, and Apple wants to pay half as much for competing against Pandora. I'm Jaime Rivera, and repeat after me. Thank God it's Friday. This is Pocket Now Daily. So one of the greatest things about Galaxy S products is their Super AMOLED technology, which is actually made by Samsung. And what it does is actually bring deep blacks on displays because this is actually pixels that are being turned off dynamically on demand as you move around the display. It's really cool technology, but apparently Samsung is completely changing the game with the Galaxy S4. We've got teasers of, well, they're working on apparently new ways to power this display in order to become even more power efficient than the Super AMOLED that we already know. But there's a lot of technology jargon I'm not going to go into, so make sure you hit the links in the description for the full details on what's going on. And speaking of Samsung, new rumors have the company and even Apple working on wireless technology for their next smartphones. And just remember this, in the case of Apple, it is not going to happen. They are so stuck up in their design language that they will not deter the purity of their next generation iPhone with wireless charging. But in the case of Samsung, it does make all the sense in the world. Sammy is actually weird. It's weird that this company has been pretty much the last one to adopt it. And even though Michael Fisher taught us how to get wireless charging on the Galaxy S4, it would be cool to get this out of the box so stay tuned we will keep you posted on march 14th but let's continue talking about apple for those of you that remember apple is actually working on a streaming service to compete with pandora in order to bring you music that you don't necessarily have to buy you buy a subscription service and that's it but for those of you that don't know how this math works well pandora pays for every 100 songs that you stream they pay 12 cents to the record labels but apparently apple says that it's too much money they want to pay half as that they want to pay only six cents for every 100 songs that are streamed and for those of you that wonder why apple would want to do this well it does make sense for them to get a special treatment. This company pretty much saved the record labels in the times of Napster back when the iPod was launched, but still, I mean, go to 50%? Let's hope that Apple brings their service soon, but you know, the way things work, this usually happens by the fall with their music events, so stay tuned. Now it's clear that every single one of us in the tech world is skeptical about that ultra pixel camera on the HTC One. And the reason why is because four megapixels is four megapixels. I mean, what's the point of something special there? But we have news that'll make you even hate it more. The reason why is because apparently HTC will run into some shortages on launch day and not being able to meet the demands with the HTC One because apparently the new ultra pixel camera is a problem to manufacture. And well, we'll keep you posted on how that goes whenever the device is launched. We still don't have a clear saying on what this will be, but we have seen some photos of this magnificent ultra pixel camera and it's not that great. And finally, for the annoying news of the day, AT&T apparently doesn't really get why we want to unlock phones. We know that the White House is working on the Wireless Freedom Act, but AT&T has just published a statement that says that it's really not necessary for you to unlock your phone because, well, you can just ask nicely after a couple of days in AT&T and you can get your phone unlocked, but obviously you have to be on a contract. And AT&T, that's really not the reason why we want to unlock a phone. We want to unlock it because you probably have a cool phone that we want on T-Mobile or that we want overseas. So. That leads me to the question of the day. Would you ever unlock a phone to stay on AT&T? You know, unlocking phones is not free, so obviously, would you ever pay for cash in order to continue using that same phone on the same service? Uh, well, leave us a comment down below. In my particular case, I want to unlock phones to use them outside the United States, so uh, leave us a comment. Of course, as always, if you want an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and tablet world, make sure you follow us on PocketNow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks for watching. See you Monday.